Spoiler. Body blocks are through. Well, they tether up as well. They already they got arrow first. Kuroki doesn't have waveform. So it really comes down to Puppy and Big Daddy getting this kill. This is actually a kill. Puppy eats through, and they have a right click to get this kill from Io. Easily done. They notice the arrow coming out. They're like, well, you don't have leap. You're actually just going to die. So Puppy just runs at him. Tawa's here as well, looking to maybe throw up a ward. And Sim is going to run right into him. They're going to exchange right clicks. No devour for Doom yet. He's looking for a camp to use it on. Puppy's gonna come in, and they're gonna actually just get another kill here. Hatawa's like, oh I, I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I'm actually just dead. Fire Blast is gonna go. Who's gonna get it this time? It is gonna get Puppy another kill, or rather his first kill, but uh, they might even just dive this tower to kill him when it's all said and done. They're actually going to dive. Overcharge. The Storm Hammer is gonna fly the way for him, and yeah, they just get a kill. That, that. That's about as okay of a position as you could play. Uh, Will they, they find Lazard? Find yeah, Puppy sees him immediately. Stormhammer? They can't kill him, I don't think. Oh, they are going to save the Stormhammer, so maybe they can get the Yeah, skill. I think he's actually dead. The Spirits is more than... He can try to poop away. The Earthbind! But no, it's not going to do much. Now they do get ensnared. Uh, the Earthbind coming in. Big Daddy's low. Look at fire. He tethers through. And now here comes Grazine. He might be able to get two off this. Maybe even none, actually. Big Daddy oh goes down to the neutral creep. The Stormhammer onto Grazine. They can't pick a target. You know, sure they're picking up these kills, but the amount of resources that they expend for every kill is... Hatawa dead? Moonlight Shadow's gonna go. The Spirit as well. Kuroki getting overcharged. Again, just like last game, they fight so early. The Starstorm, though, Big Daddy in trouble. Stormhammer is not there. Kuro has his waveform ready to go. Lazard might be in some trouble. Moonlight Shadow. Kuroki gonna try to get the kill. He's gonna use his stats to get up the morph. Now the Dream Crawl coming in. S4 has jaunting through, it looks like. Cannot get the kill. They have to back away. And then Puppy's here now. They actually have Doom up as well. So if they want to fight, maybe they can. There's the Warcry coming in. Hatawa's like, I need to leave. Am I going to get Doom? Is Mitch going to get Doom? Who's the target here? They want Puppy the Stormhammer. They they just clump up for it. And Mitch is probably going to die. They might be able to deny. No way. Hitawa now is going to get focused. Those spirits, those balls from the Wisps doing so much work. And Hitawa's trying to juke and jive as best as possible. Lizard, you don't want to be here. Time to poop out, buddy. And he does make it away. Relocate, they're gonna go on mid. Crow now gonna jump into Grazine and they're gonna fight this. Waveform has been used. It's on a cooldown for another three seconds. Grazine's gonna eat his tree and try to stay alive, but I mean, they see him clearly. And the whirling axes are gonna do no. Sentry's gonna get plopped down, I believe, but they back away with the Moonlight Shadow. They don't wanna fight. The Observer Ward on the high ground, if they re engage on this, I would be very surprised. Kroki is actually just man fighting. Waveform through, they know that they have vision now, and uh, some actually denied the tower. Spirits, Hitawa, Fire Blast going in, is Hitawa dead? I think so, yeah. Stormhammer now, leap away, and Mitch actually disjoints yet again. Big Daddy relocates in, arrow coming in, they will miss. Puppy's getting low, but they do get the kill with the right click. A one for one exchange, support for a support. So already secret being aggressive, but maybe much to uh to chagrin. They're gonna get killed. Puppy's gonna throw up a, a storm hammer. There's the doom coming in as well as Zard getting doomed up. Meanwhile, the waveform in. They do lose the doom. Buyback coming in as well. Lazard's still alive, he's gonna stay alive. No, it wasn't. The, missed the waveform on Lazard oh, potentially. No. Yeah, yeah, and he's not gonna get the kill anymore. Well, Milan might die still. Big Daddy in some trouble, though. I think he just fought back. This is bad, actually, for Secret. Really bad. Drew Cole come in, but here's S4 to come and rescue the day. There's going to be a, a Ghost Scepter just purchased up for Kuroki at the right time to stay alive. Waveform Grazine is low. Not low enough. Kuroki is going to fall, finally. The Fire Blast keeps him in place. You're in a pup game, and you see someone do something that you wouldn't have thought of. And then you're like, wow, that was a good idea. And then you steal it. <laughs> Are you calling out Sam Bulbasaur sale right now? I think you are. Ethereal Blade into Lazard as the fight's breaking out. Waveform not going to be enough, but the Adaptive Strike will be. The Aegis, the four-man coil, but where's the follow-up? Kuroki's going to get macro powered. He actually is in a lot of trouble. And he is going to maybe fall here. No, coming in, Puppy. Look at the damage coming in. The Waning Rift, the Cleave. Simba coming in with the Scorched Earth. It's a full wipe coming out. Meanwhile, f is going to type away. We're going to have a Yule Scepter. That'll be up on the Simba. This might be an easy kill for Brazil here. Dream Cole coming in, but it does really nothing other than stop the aggression coming out from Secret, but even still, they're they're ready to go. Uh, Thero Blade and Kroki just adapt to strikes the Jakiro. He dies instantly. Poop back in onto Kroki. He waveforms out. Krasin is going to try to fight. Big Daddy going. There's the Dagon as well. The Illusory Orb coming in. And, and Puck with the level 1 Dagon comes out and gets a kill easily on Grazine. So a core and a support for... Two cores coming out from MYI, and, and Kuroki still wants to fight. His Ethereal Blade ready in a couple of seconds. John away. Hatawa's going to get silenced. Waiting Rift. Puck finds another kill. S4 doing it again, and No-Tail's back in. I think he relocated out. He actually might have... No, he bought back. So on 186 damage, 
Yeah, really they just blew up not only the Rex, but they're probably going to blow up Milan as well. The Drew Quill going in. Lazard's going to take some damage here. There's the proof in. Simba getting low. Scorch Earth is available. Adaptive Strike. Lazard's still alive. They can't kill any single hero yet. I believe the Morphling mor replicated out. They're actually okay with just taking the Rex, relocating themselves away. On the backside, S4's still in the base. He's alone. He's going to get bashed up. He's dead. And he was trying to get out, but uh, no such luck, and it looks like, like uh, I was dead as well. Oh, Puppy's gonna come in! They get arrowed, but there's the Stormhammer and the Waveform coming in! They did not expect that! Kuroki jumps back on top of them, Brazine is finally gonna fall, there's the double, maybe a triple coming out. Yeah, absolutely for Kuroki, triple, and it is gonna be godlike for him, MYI are wiped, and uh... I'm sorry, I don't mean to rub it in your face, by the way, I don't... That's... Someday at 4L, we will be at a land together. Brokey gets the kill on Hatawa, he and Ogre will fall, but... Yeah, and, and not only just the summit, but I mean, even this year, or this tournament, right now, Secret and... Well, hold that thought. Relocated, Mitch and Milan. They're getting chased down. Brazine's got a... That, that is brave, Brazine, my friend. That is very brave, but perhaps too brave. Brokey gets the kill. And, uh, and I expect we'll most likely see a GG coming out pretty soon. Yeah. The way that have played in the series are just there. It seems unstoppable. 27 minutes in, by the way, this has felt like a longer game. The Dual Scepter coming out avoids most of the Ethereal Blade. There's going to be Stormhammer. Only on the Lizard and Mitch. Now, S4 jaunts through the poop on a Muff Puppy. He does have Cleave and God Strength. Also, they do have all the bonus damage coming out from that God Strength. The rest of Matawa takes like three hits and dies. And that's going to be the GG finally called as they are diving the base. They're diving the well almost to a certain extent, but. 28 minutes in, and. Again, secret with the dominated performance. Yeah. Yeah, Io. Ridiculous. Don't give secret wisp. I mean, Man. that's pretty much all you can say about this series. Two really dominating performances coming out from Kuroki while he's being supported by that wisp.